So hi YouTube, uh, this is Jack and uh, we're going to unbox the uh, Daylight Archery Korean Bow, specifically the Monarch. My girlfriend made sure I picked up every piece of plastic, so... Are we still filming? Yep. This time not much plastic, it's just one little plastic bag. Well here it is. Wow, it's just like the eBay picture, it's beautiful. Wow. Here's the bow uh, strong. Maybe I should get more brace height, but um, for me, that's good enough. Maybe I should bring the brace height a little bit more. It would be fairly comparable to this, but it's a laminated bow. It's laminated with maple and um, modern materials. There it is, the Hyung Mu Gong. I don't speak Korean, so I don't know. Hyung Mu Gong. The length of the bow is 53 inches. No, the draw length is not 53. The max safe draw length is 34 inches, but um, this bow is rated at 95 pounds at 31 inches. <gasps> wow. That feels really powerful. Like the arrow, did, did you feel the arrow? I guess it went fast. Now to be fair, this is still a traditional Korean bow in terms of design, but the materials is not horn and sinew, of course. Uh, it's, it is not a horn and sinew material. It's made of modern, I think, carbon fiber and uh, maple and fiberglass. So, you know, I, yeah, it's using modern materials, but uh, personally, I trust modern materials more than uh, horn and sinew. From what I heard about horn and sinew, it's a lot of maintenance. So I'd rather have a something more water resistant, something, you know, a little bit more durable. This feels like a good quality laminate, you know? Now, to be fair, um, I need to shoot this much longer to get a better review. This is more of an initial impression. So my initial impression of this is very good. The only thing I don't like about it is that you see this arrow pass? I think it's gonna wear out very quickly, um, but you can replace the arrow pass, pass with your own materials. Because when the arrows move very fast, you know, eventually this material is gonna wear out. But I think that's with any bow, right? You just have to replace it. So there's maintenance involved. The other thing is it's a, it's a pain to string this thing. This thing, I just use a step in method. This I have to, you know, go online, see how you string a proper traditional recurve, uh, traditional Korean recurve. And it, it takes a lot more effort to string this thing. Um, but once you string it, it's a, it's, it's very nice. It is very fast. I, I, I love it. These are carbon arrows, 250 spine. So they're, uh, they're, I think I'm worried that they're a little too light for this bow, but they shoot very fast. These war bow arrows are, I think are more, more meant for a bow like this. So these are spine for 140 pounds and they're half inch. So these are war bow arrows, English war bow arrows. They're very heavy. Um, so if I shoot these, it won't feel like dry firing. So I feel more safe shooting these heavy ones rather than shooting these light ones. When I shoot an arrow this light, I'm worried that it's uh, it's almost dry firing it, but I'll use these more, I think. And they have a longer draw length. This is 40 inches, you know, so. I don't really see the point of sh uh, showing groupings because um, I literally just got this bow. So I'm obviously not gonna be that accurate. So. Uh, you might notice I'm purposely aiming at the couch cushions because um, the arrows, one arrow actually went all the way through the straw bale. So I decided for the sake of the arrow, because it messes up the fletchings, and for the sake of uh, my straw bales, I decided to just put extra, extra couch cushions. There's a lot of couch cushions here. My girlfriend's mom is throwing away a bunch of couches. So yeah, this is actually the perfect target. So many couch cushions. <laughs> I really like this bow compared to my 140 pound war bow. Um, it's a lot lighter, so it uh, I, I can po focus on form. Because um, people online have been telling me I'm over bowed, so I think this is a bow that I can practice more to perfect my form. Um, at 95 pounds at 31 inches, or about 100 pounds at full draw, it's uh, it's perfect. 100 pounds at full draw, I think, is perfect for me um, for for pra working on form. Um, I hope it's not, I hope I'm not over bowing as much as uh, anymore compared to my 140. When you saw me shooting in the 140, I'm like, ugh, you know, 
Ugh, that's me with the 140, but with this one, I can just calmly relax and shoot. In terms of speed, this this 100 pound bow shoots faster than the 140 pound bow. You can see it from the arrows. Like I don't have a chrono device, so I can't really test the speed properly, but like from the look of the speed, it just shoots faster, I can tell. Um, makes sense, because these are laminated limbs, and when they're unstrung, they're recurved. They're, uh, those fiberglass ones, they look recurved, but when they're unstrung, they're, the fiberglass bars are actually straight. <clears throat> wow. And it's accurate too. In terms of the uh, arrow placement, I like to move it, you know, an inch. So here you go. It, uh... I don't have range to test distance right now, but uh, at least it's pretty shooting at you know close range, point blank range. It's uh, it's, it's accurate, but I don't have the accessibility of a long range right now. So these drop bales are like no match to these arrows. Look, they go all the way through, and uh, there it is. That's just crazy. These arrow, the straw bales are no match to these warble arrows. You know what stopped it? The tree. Oh my God. The tree stopped it. Holy jeez. Is that tree gonna be okay? The straw bale is like butter. It goes through straw bale like butter and then it hits the, the tree. Oh my God, I feel bad for the tree. Oh, pork tree goes right through. Wow. I really like this bow. For the price you're paying, it's a it's a really good laminate bow for my initial impression. I've only owned this bow for a few days, so I want to shoot it for a few months before I make a full review. But right now, I'm very happy with it. Um, 230 US dollars to get something like this. I really like it. You can get a cheaper version for 170 US uh, with le less decorations. You know, it doesn't have a lot of hand shock. There's some string bridges here. It's not significant like a Manchu bow, but um, it's following the cr traditional Korean design. I think it's called a Hyung Wu Gong. And so it's following a traditional Korean design. So yeah, it uses modern materials, but in fact, I'd rather have a Mod, like a modern material traditional bow than something with horn and sinew because in my from from what i've heard horn and sinew bows require a lot of maintenance and you know are a lot more expensive but when you use carbon fiber fiberglass and um modern materials it's just it, it, I'm, i trust it a lot more and they're not like those fiberglass bows where from china those ones are very heavy they don't shoot um, fast these arrows shoot a lot faster and sometimes they go through the straw bale well thanks a lot for watching trying to stay still